Page 59. B. Say these. Number 1. Look at the butterfly. It looks beautiful. Number 2. Listen to the music. It sounds wonderful. Number 3. Smell the flower. It smells good. Number 4. Touch the rabbit. It feels soft. Number 5. Taste the candy. It tastes sweet. Page 59. C. Practice the words. Number 1. Sunset. Number 2. Bird. Number 3. Rose. Number 4. Pillow. Number 5. Strawberry. Page 59. C. Make sentences. Look at the sunset. It looks beautiful. Number 1. Look at the sunset. It looks beautiful. Number 2. Listen to the bird. It sounds wonderful. Number 3. Smell the rose. It smells good. Number 4. Touch the pillow. It feels soft. Number 5. Taste the strawberry. It tastes sweet. Page 59. D. Listen and chant. Listen, do you hear that music? Listen, do you hear that music? Yes, I do. It sounds beautiful. Look. Do you see that rainbow? Yes, I do. It looks amazing. Taste these cookies. They taste good. Mmm, they're delicious. Smell the roses. They smell sweet. Mmm, they smell wonderful. Touch this pillow. It feels soft. Mmm, it feels nice. Page 60. Let's learn. A. Learn the words. Number 1. Rainbow. Beautiful. Number 2. Mask. Ugly. Number 3. Music. Wonderful. Number 4. Noise. Awful. Number five. Garbage. Bad. Number six. Soap. Good. Page 60. B. Make sentences. Kate, Jenny, Scott, and Andy are using their senses. How do the things around them look? sound and smell. The rainbow looks beautiful. Look, looks, sound, sounds, smell, smells. Number one. The rainbow looks beautiful. Number two. The music sounds wonderful. Number three. The noise sounds awful. Number four. The garbage smells bad. Page 61. C. Ask and answer. How does the butterfly look? It looks beautiful. Number one. How does the butterfly look? 
It looks beautiful. Number two. How does the garbage smell? It smells bad. Number three. How does the noise sound? It sounds awful. Number four. How does the mask look? It looks ugly. Number five. How does the music sound? It sounds wonderful. Number six. How does the rose smell? It smells good. Page sixty one. D. Listen and chant. I smell smoke. I smell smoke. Something's burning. It smells terrible. It smells awful. I hear music. Somebody's singing. It sounds wonderful. It sounds beautiful. I see a horse. Somebody's riding. It looks wonderful. It looks beautiful. I hear English. Somebody's speaking. It sounds interesting. It sounds beautiful. Page 62. Let's learn more. A. Learn the words. Number one. Pillow. Soft. Number two. Rock. Hard. Number three. Mirror. Smooth. Number four. Tree. Rough. Number five. Honey. Sweet. Number six. Lemon. Sour. Number seven. Potato chip. Salty. Number eight. Dark chocolate. Bitter. Page 62. B. Ask and answer. Jenny and Andy went to a daycare center. They talked with the children about the senses. How does the mirror feel? The mirror feels smooth. Feel. Feels. Taste. Tastes. Number one. How does the mirror feel? The mirror feels smooth. Number two. How does the rock feel? The rock feels hard. Number three. How does the pillow feel? The pillow feels soft. Number four. How does the potato chip taste? The potato chip tastes salty. Number five. How does the lemon taste? The lemon tastes sour. Page 63. C. Play a game. Ask and answer. Does it feel rough or smooth? It feels rough. Page 63. D. Ask your partner. Which do you like better, salty food or sweet food? I like salty food better. Page 64. Let's read. A. Listen and read along. Then read again. Why do foods taste different? You need two things to taste food. Taste buds and a sense of smell. Taste buds are on your tongue. They help you taste each kind of flavor. Taste buds tell you that ice cream is sweet, potato chips are salty, lemons are sour, and some dark chocolate is bitter. Your sense of smell is important too. It helps you taste. Try this. Drink a glass of apple juice. It will taste sweet. 
Then, pinch your nose closed. Drink some more juice. Now you can't taste it because you can't smell it. Page 64. B. Choose the correct answer. Number 1. Where are your taste buds? Number 2. Can you taste food when you pinch your nose? Page 65. E. Listen and write. Do you hear nch or ch? Number 1. Pinch. Number 2. Reach. Number 3. Lunch. Number 4. Peach. Page 66, Unit 8, New Experiences. Let's talk. A. Listen and say. Guess what? What? I'm going to go to France this summer. That's exciting. Have you been there before? No, it's my first time. I've been there twice. My uncle lives there. I visited him last summer. Wow. You're lucky. I don't know anyone there. You'll love France. There's only one problem. I don't speak French. Page 66. Language focus. Have you been there before? No. It's my first time. Yes. I've been there twice. B. Bin. Page 67. B. Practice the words. Number 1. Egypt. Number 2. China. Number 3. Hawaii. Number 4. Nepal. Number 5. The Grand Canyon. Number six. Mount Everest. Number seven. France. Number eight. The Great Barrier Reef. Page 67. B. Ask and answer. Have you ever been to Egypt? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Number one. Have you ever been to Egypt? Yes, I have. Number two. Have you ever been to China? No, I haven't. Number three. Have you ever been to Hawaii? Yes, I have. Number four. Have you ever been to Nepal? No, I haven't. Number five. Have you ever been to the Grand Canyon? Yes, I have. Number six. Have you ever been to Mount Everest? No, I haven't. Number seven. Have you ever been to France? Yes, I have. Number eight. Have you ever been to the Great Barrier Reef? No, I haven't. Page 67. C. Listen and chant. Have you ever? Have you ever climbed Mount Everest? Yes, I have. I loved it. You will too. Have you ever been to China? Yes, I have. I loved it. You will too. Have you ever been to Egypt? No, I haven't. Have you ever been to Hawaii? No, I haven't. I've been there and every
everywhere. I loved it. You will too. Page 68. Let's learn. A. Learn the words. Number 1. Fried noodles. Number 2. Potato salad. Number 3. Sushi. Number 4. Ravioli. Number 5. Crepes. Number 6. Kimchi. Number 7. Tofu. Number 8. Tacos. Page 68. B. Ask and answer. Kate and Andy are talking about foods they have eaten. They want to taste new foods. Have you ever eaten sushi? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Eat. Eaten. Number one. Have you ever eaten sushi? Yes, I have. Number two. Have you ever eaten kimchi? No, I haven't. Number three. Have you ever eaten tofu? Yes, I have. Number four. Have you ever eaten tacos? Yes, I have. Number five. Have you ever eaten potato salad? No, I haven't. Number six. Have you ever eaten fried noodles? Yes, I have. Page 69. C. Make sentences. I've eaten crepes. I've never eaten kimchi. I have. I've. Number one. I've eaten crepes. Number two. I've never eaten kimchi. Number three. I've eaten tacos. Number four. I've never eaten ravioli. Number five. I've eaten sushi. Number six. I've never eaten fried noodles. Page 69. D. Listen, point, and chant. Have you ever eaten sushi? Have you ever eaten sushi? No, I haven't. But I'll try it tonight. All right. Have you ever eaten tacos? No, I haven't. But I'll try them tonight. All right. Have you ever eaten tofu? Yes, I have. Have you ever eaten crepes? Yes, I have, but I've never eaten sushi. And I've never eaten tacos. I'll try them tonight. All right. Page 70. Let's learn more. A. Learn the words. Number 1. A crocodile. Number 2. An ostrich. Number 3. A panda. Number 4. A penguin. Number 5. A llama. Number 6. A kangaroo. Number 7. A koala. Number 8. A hippopotamus. Page 70. B. Ask and answer. Scott and Jenny are talking about animals they have seen. 
Scott has seen a crocodile and a penguin. Jenny has seen a panda, an ostrich, and a kangaroo. Have you ever seen a crocodile? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. See. Seen. Number one. Have you ever seen a crocodile? Yes, I have. Have you ever seen a crocodile? No, I haven't. Number two. Have you ever seen a panda? Yes, I have. Have you ever seen a panda? No, I haven't. Number three. Have you ever seen an ostrich? Yes, I have. Have you ever seen an ostrich? No, I haven't. Number four. Have you ever seen a kangaroo? No, I haven't. Have you ever seen a kangaroo? Yes, I have. Number five. Have you ever seen a penguin? No, I haven't. Have you ever seen a penguin? Yes, I have. Page 71. C. Play a game. Ask and answer. Has she ever seen a crocodile? Yes, she has. No, she hasn't. Seen. Been. Eaten. Page 71. D. What about you? I've been to Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii. Page 72. Let's read. A. Listen and read along. Then read again. The Dream Catcher. Do you ever have bad dreams at night? Native Americans believe that a dream catcher can catch your unhappy dreams. Then you will only have happy dreams. Have you ever seen a dream catcher? It looks like a spider's web. You can make a dream catcher. Here is how to do it. 1. Cut out the center of a paper plate. Around the plate, make holes about one centimeter apart. 2. Put yarn into one hole. Then weave the yarn from hole to hole, up and over, around the plate. 3. Now, weave across the plate. A few pieces of yarn can hang down. Put beads on the yarn. 4. Finally, tie feathers to the yarn. Hang your dream catcher on the wall. Sweet dreams! Page 72. B. Choose the correct answer. Number 1. What does a dream catcher look like? Number 2. What does a dream catcher do? Page 73. E. Listen and write. Do you hear ch or Number one. Put. Number two. Catch. Number three. Cat. Number four. Hopscotch. Page 74. Let's review. Unit 7 and 8. A. Listen and number. Number one. Listen to the bird. It sounds wonderful. Number two. How does the mirror feel? It feels smooth. Number three. How does the garbage smell? It smells bad. Number four. Does it taste sour or salty? It tastes salty. 
Number five. Mmm. Smell the flower. It smells good. Number six. Oh, look at the rainbow. It looks beautiful. Number seven. Does the pillow feel soft or hard? It feels soft. Number eight. How does the cookie smell? It smells good. Page 74. B. Listen and check. Number one. Jenny, have you ever eaten tacos? No, I haven't, but I'll try them tonight. What about you? Have you ever eaten tacos? Yes, I have. I've eaten tacos many times. Number two. I've never been to Hawaii. Have you ever been there? Yes, I have. I've been there twice. Number three. Have you ever seen a crocodile, Jenny? No, I haven't. I've never seen a crocodile before. Have you ever seen one? Yes, I've seen a crocodile. It was really big. Page 75. See. Let's read about the Grand Canyon. John and Lisa's travel blog. We're in the USA. Hello from the Grand Canyon, USA. This morning, we went rafting on the Colorado River. The river goes through the Grand Canyon. We went through a lot of rapids. They were very rough. We've never gone rafting before. It was exciting. In the afternoon, we camped near the river. For dinner, the guides cooked steaks over a campfire. The steaks smelled and tasted delicious. Tonight, we're going to sleep outside. We can hear the river. It sounds wonderful. We can also see a lot of stars. We've never seen so many stars. End of CD2